In this video, I'm going to show how to separate reusable code into a library. In the last few tutorials, we created a, a bunch of functions that we will use with the LCD. And this is about as many functions as I'll be needing for the, for the time being. There are a few more that we could implement, but we could do that later. There are two main ways you can create libraries. And these two main ways really depends on how much code and how much declarative information that you've created in this program. Generally, the information that is declared at the beginning will go into a .h file, which is also called a, a header file. And the header file has all of the information that would be located in the header. It has a lot of the information about a lot of the variables and, and the defined statements, and also the prototype information. And then, and in the .c file, file you'd have all the code that is necessary to make all of that all of the functions work and it would be all of this information here you'd have the send a string send a character send a command the peekaboo and check if mr. LCD is busy and all of that code and that would go into a dot C file which is the the actual code file and the dot C file would also contain any actual variables that are being declared and that are used in the code and that would be this particular one here, this is an array that we're declaring, and any other variables that we, we would be declaring. The other way we would do a library, or the, the other form of a library, would be just to include all of the, um, the declarative information here and the code all in one file. And that would be all in the header file, the .h file. And I wouldn't do this unless the reusable code is actually relatively small, because it starts to become really complicated uh, changing any of this information here, or if, if you have to uh, do any code enhancements, uh, you, you'd have to wade through quite a large file. I'm actually going to use this method uh, for mine, and I'm going to keep it that way, but I will show you both methods. So the first thing we need to do is create two new files, and the two new files are going to be the two library files. These two library files, um, which is the .h file and the .c file, will uh, will need to be the same name. So let's go ahead and create a, a new file. We're going to go to File, New, and we're going to select C slash C++. And we're going to save it as MrLCD.h for header. And then we're going to make another file, and that's uh, File, New, C++ again, or C. And this one will be called, we're going to save it as Mr. LCD dot C. Now, when you're using the method of creating both the dot H and dot C files, you're going to have to make a change in the make file. So let me go ahead and open that. We can open the make file uh, using the programmer's notepad, and you can just go ahead and make changes within this file um, directly. You don't have to use the other uh, make file generator uh, program that we used in the one of the first tutorials. And we're going to list the Mr. LCD file either here or here, depending on if the uh, the source in the file is generally C and CC or strictly C, or if it's C++, if it's using some C++. We're going to be uh, putting it into the C source files, and I'm going to call it Mr. LCD. Dot C. So we're going to add that here, and this is really all we need to do in the make file, so we can go ahead and close it and save it. Now we're left with two blank files, and that's the Mr. LCD.C and Mr. LCD.H. We're going to take the header information from the main, and we're going to cut it from this location, and we're going to paste it into the .h file. And I'm going to take all of the include statements as well. Actually, let me show you one thing that we need to do first. Because we don't want Mr. LCD.H or Mr. Mr. LCD.C to, to be um, opened more than once, we need to include a condition that only allows the information to be loaded once. And the condition statement is pound if and def followed by the name of the file, Mr. LCD. And we're going to put in a define here. And then we're going to put in an end if. This statement here, if and def, is if not defined. And we have a defined statement here that says Mr. LCD. So what this is saying is if Mr. LCD has not been defined yet, it will execute all the code that's in here. So let's say code to execute to or to load. And we're going to put all the code that 
pertains to our Mr. LCD in this area. If the if I have more than one file trying to load it at one time, then it will not load it twice with this type of statement in it. I could have this um, put into many other files that I'm putting into uh, my overall project. And if I have this statement here, if not defined, and I have this um, just following that uh, condition, then all the code will only be loaded once. If you didn't have this condition, and we try to include this file, the .h file, in more than one uh, files in the project, then this would be uh, repeated more than once, and we would get errors of um, duplicate uh, definitions and things like that. So we want to make sure that we include this in our header file. So let's go ahead and grab our code and insert it into the Mr. LCD.h file. We're going to take all of this code here, including the defined statements and all of the prototypes. We're actually going to remove this one because we really don't need Actually, let me move this down to the bottom so it doesn't get caught up into this. So we don't want this line to go into the .h file because it's actually being used in the .c file. So let's go ahead and just grab all this information. We're going to cut it and we'll put it into within this condition. Okay, and you can see it's relatively small, so we don't have that much going into this file, and it's easy to read. So let's go back to the main.c file, and you can see that we don't have any include statements anymore because we cut it out. We still need to have include statements for the functionality um, that we have in the main. So we need to go back and just do a copy of that. And I know we're using the io.h and the delay, so I'm going to copy that. And this is actually a good example of how I'm um, including uh, multiple files here. I'm including the io.h, I'm including the delay.h, and in the Mr. LCD.h, I'm also including them again because I really do need them in this um, in this file and the dot, on the .c file. But I don't know if I'm including them in other locations, so I need to still include them. And in these files has a condition whether it's been already loaded or not, and it will only load it once. So um, that is that is the reason why we're using this type of condition to do that. Okay, now let's grab the information for... Actually, I want to do something else here because I have some information here that is being used for initialization. This is information or this is um, code that I'll be needing every single time I initialize the the LCD. So I want to make a um, separate routine for this. So let's go ahead and create another and we're going to call it initialize Mr. LCD and there's nothing going to be passed in and we'll have a code block here and all we're going to do is copy and paste that information that would be up here control X to get it into the clipboard and then bring it down here now we have all of the initialization code in a convenient routine so now all we need to do is add that into this location here with a semicolon. And every time we go into main, it'll initialize the LCD, Mr. LCD. And all of that information, all of the initialization information, is actually going to be separated out anyway, so it'll be nice and clean. But first, we need to create the prototype for this. So let's go into the .h file and create the prototype. And we need to add the void in here to, to inform the compiler that we're not going to be passing any, informa any information in. Okay, now let's grab all of this information and pass it into the .c file. We're going to take... Oh, let me get this. All right, we're going to grab all of the functions that we used or created for the LCD. Control X to get it out. Now go to Mr. LCD.c, Control V. And we also have to include the array that we created. And we're going to put it into the Mr. LCD.c, but we're going to put it in where it's actually being used. So we'll just put it in here, just so we have it nice and organized and we know where it's being used and we can change it if we need to. Mr. LCD.c also needs the header information included in this file, so we need to include it on the top. Okay, so we're including Mr. LCD.h at the top of this file, at the top of the .c file. We also have to include it in our main file. 
Okay, so just to review what we've done, we've created two files, the Mr. LCD.h, Mr. LCD.c, and we've also created, we've also modified the make file. And we've we put in the Mr. LCD.c under the list C source files here. So it recognizes the Mr. LCD.c. We took the information for, mainly from the beginning of the uh, the file that we created, including the defined statements, the includes, and the the prototypes, and we put them in the .h file. We created a condition so that this library is only used once, no matter how many times it's included in the files. We also created the Mr. LCD.c. We passed in the information of the actual code, code blocks, and the routine routines to to perform all of those tasks, all the reusable tasks. And if we do a make all, I'm going to go ahead and make clean just to make sure. If we do a make all, we will note that we have no errors. And if we tried to program the LCD, it would function just as if we had it all in the, this one file. Now let's go over the, the way to do it all in the .h file. I'm going to undo all of the changes that I've made. Okay, I've undone all the changes that I made to this file. I need to delete these two files so we can start fresh. I'm going to take this out. Okay, so we're going to pretend we didn't do anything. And now we're going to take, we're going to make a library file of only one .h file. We'll not use a .c file. And uh, we actually won't need to make any modifications to the make file because we're not using the .c file at all. So what we need to do first is we need to create Actually, let me erase the files that I had in that directory first. You can see that it actually created a .o file, an .lst file, and we had the, um, the .c and the .h file that we created. So I'm going to delete those. So now we're back to what we had before. All right, so the first thing we need to do is make a new file, and it's going to be a C slash C++ file, and we're going to save it as Mr. LCD dot H. We're going to save that. Okay, so now we're we're left with a blank file. We're going to go to the C file or the main file, and we're going to take we're going to actually take all of the information here, and we're just going to go ahead and do a copy and paste. So we've pasted all of the information into this file. We don't need the main because that's in the main file. So what we have is we have all of the information that pertains to the LCD. We have all the include statements that we'll need. We have the define statements. We even have this this array here that is used in the in the in the code. We have all of the prototype information and we have all of the code routines. Now we're going to go to main and we can eliminate all of that information cuz so we're not going to need it anymore. And we're going to take out the information on the top. We're going to keep in the STD LIB because I'm using the conversion from integer to string. We can take out all of this information. We're not going to be needing it in this file. We now we need to create an, an initialization routine with this information. So we're going to do a copy and paste and paste it into the .h file. We'll create the new routine. Initialize Mr. LCD. And we're not passing in anything. Make the code block and paste the information inside the code block. And now we need to create the prototype of this at the top of the file. We need to insert the void because we're not passing anything in. We have to tell that to the compiler. And there's one more thing that we can't forget. That is to create our precautionary condition. If not defined, Mr. LCD, we'll make it define here. And then we'll end it with the end if all the way at the bottom. So all of this code will not be included if it's already been defined. So this is just a precaution to make sure that the library is only loaded one time throughout the entire project. And we need to go back to the main and call that routine. Initialize Mr. LCD, not passing anything in, semicolon. And now we need to put in the include because we have to include the file include mr lcd.h so all of that information 
um, gets put into the header, the header portion of this file. And now you can see how clean the our main file is. Uh, we don't have any of all of that code that pertains to the LCD except um, that we can call all of their functions, which is very convenient. Now if we did a make all, we would, uh, let me do a make clean just to make sure. A make clean, um, all that does is it erases all the files that we uh, that it created before so it can do a, uh, a totally clean make of all of the files again. So let's make all and I can see that there are no errors and this should program perfectly fine on the LCD or on the micro microcontroller. Notice that we didn't have to make any changes to the make file and we're done. That is how to separate all of the reusable code into a .h or a .h and a .c file. If you plan on making any reusable code that you'd wish to call later on, it's best to separate it out into other files and leave the, the main file relatively clean so it's easy to read. Thanks for watching.